what is subluxation? Um, it literally is any kind of misalignment in the spine from the normal position that causes stress or damage to the nervous system. So what some people think, it, it's not actually a disease of the spine, it's a condition of the spine, it's a positioning of the spine. Uh, car accidents, sports injuries, uh, falling down the stairs, so a lot of people sit all day, uh, they're looking down at the computer screen all the time, and uh, the spine begins to mold to that position and the brain thinks that that's more where you're supposed to be. Um, so we actually have to retrain the brain to hold your body in a different position. Also from the side view, if you were looking through the ear, the shoulders, the hips, your spine should be in curves. This cannot be straight. Uh, one of the major problems that I see a lot in the spine is the neck curve. Uh, that should be around 42 to 45 degrees in an angle like this, but most people have it where it's either flattening, shifting forward, or it actually straightens or can reverse. There's many different ways that the spine can subluxate in the, in the neck, in the curve of the neck. This is a case study of one of my patients. He's in his 30s. He had extreme headaches. He had neck pain and stiffness. Um, not a lot of energy, and he actually had digestive problems, um, heartburn symptoms a lot, and I was on medications for that as well. Let me show you this. You should have a proper curve in your neck. That's this black line right there. Um, this is actually called your arc of life. Now, what you see here, this patient has red marks at the back of his vertebra, so this is actually an indication of what his spine was doing when he came in. You can see those bones moving forward, and what that does, uh, the spinal cord lives right between these bones. So as it's coming down and you shift that forward, it stretches and pulls and damages the spinal cord. Now scoliosis, um, th uh, that's actually a term that some people may have heard, but scoliosis is anything that shifts out of the normal alignment from straight and it'll shift and bend to the side. Uh, a lot of people think that it has to be way offline, uh, but it doesn't. Any stress or a point where it starts to bend will cause the spine to fail around that area of stress. There can also be pelvic misalignments as well where your hips are unlevel. Uh, that's a, a big problem in runners because they tend to stress out their spine and their nervous system more if their pelvis is out of balance. Um, even heart conditions and cancer can actually be a problem of the nerves because any kind of a stress can actually decrease flow of information to anywhere in the body. Uh, so high blood pressure has actually been shown that adjustments in the, in the proper places really high up in the spine can actually lower blood pressure better than two, two more medications combined. Um, and we actually see people uh, working with their doctors to be able to get off of medications because their blood pressure stays fine after we take the stress away and we actually fix the cause. You got to understand, no amount of medication, uh, whether it's Tylenol, Excedrin, migraine medicine, aspirin, no amount of medication is going to fix this. We have to get the bones in the right alignment and get that back to normal. What I always stress is that the symptoms of subluxation don't have to be permanent. Um, subluxation is correctable. As long as we find the problem and we deal with it, then the symptoms actually go away. So whether it's pain or digestive issues or headaches, you don't have to live like that. That's what we do at Maximize Living is we find these subluxations and we help you to get those corrected. In a little over a year, we took a wellness x-ray and this is the difference. So if you look, again, the black line is where his spine should be. So as you're seeing now, the bone structure is following more along that curve. So amazingly, his body started responding, the headache started going away, uh, neck pain and stiffness was a thing of the past. Uh, his digestion actually improved as well. It doesn't always happen quickly. Uh, you didn't get in this position uh, in just a few days, but it's over time. It takes a long time to build the patterns of subluxation in the spine. So therefore, it actually takes a process to get the spine back into alignment and healing. So literally, as you align the spine, it's turning on the power, so your power is on, and your body can heal and function just the way God intended it to. Your power is on.